good whatever your time zone is i hope you're having a good uh, whatever your time zone is but enough of the introductions though because what we've got served on the slice of life today is tim walls who is the governor of minnesota has now been tapped in as running mate for kamala harris's vp and a lot of conservatives are calling this an absolute dub for us and I would agree, but here's why in so many words, which, uh, cause I don't want to write this all out, I'll just let Charlie Kirk's post take it from here. Quote, Welcome to the race, Tim Walls. Let's make sure America knows who you are. You helped ignite the George Floyd riots, the worst the country had seen in decades. While Minneapolis burned, you stalled on deploying the National Guard for an entire day blaming the city for not submitting the right paperwork. You let your daughter leak the guard's deployment plans online so that the rioters would know how long they had to loot the city with impunity. Minneapolis is a war zone because of you. Just days after the attempted murder on Donald Trump, you called him and his supporters fascists, egging on the same rhetoric that led to him being sh** in the first place. You have overseen some of the most radical youth surgery laws in the country. Under your leadership, teenagers can get their breasts chopped off and get sterilized. And your government calls it healthcare. You have the most radical abortion laws in the country, zero limits. Every year, five to six babies are born alive and then legally under laws you support. On immigration, you famously said you wanted to provide a ladder so that invaders can come over Trump's wall. You are a radical open border zealot. You oversaw the single worst fraud of the COVID era, the feeding our future case. Thanks to ineptitude at your Department of Education, criminals stole 250 million of taxpayer dollars to spend on luxury cars, houses, and vacations. Also during COVID, you approved 500 million in hero pay for frontline workers, only to have 40% of that money go to people who are ineligible or in many cases, literally deceased. In the House, you were Pelosi's sidekick and did whatever the Democrats demanded. You will try and disguise yourself as a folksy Midwestern moderate. In reality, you are a white male version of Kamala Harris. Radical, inept, and undeserving to be in leadership. Make this go viral, ruin their honeymoon, let us educate millions because the media will not. So, in other words, he just he's just terrible for anything close to the term of leader, much less a VP. So that is why us conservatives are calling him a win for conservatives, because he just sucks. And of course there's more, because with that whole entire Floyd situation, he decided to justify why all the destruction happened. Uh, here's that. A society that does not put equity and inclusion at the center of it is certainly going to uh, eventually uh, come to the places where we're at. Uh, this is a moment of inflection. It's a moment of real change. It's a moment that those folks who are out there demanding this are, are not going to take a, a commission or a report. Um, they're going to want fundamental change. And, and that is what I think... Uh, that's one of the exciting things in the midst of all this. You can feel a sense of optimism coming back. Ah, yes, wanting change. Maybe even a change of scenery. Hey, y'all tell me below. Have you ever just gotten tired of seeing your local Wendy's and just think, you know, this place could use a large fire in its place. What, no one's thought of that before? Or at least someone who's not insane? Weird. Anyways, here's a woman of specific complexion complaining about the fire who did not want the change of scenery. How was last night? It's scary. I live in the high rise right back here and I seen them as they came down Lake Street. But then they turned and started coming over here and I'm sitting up looking in my, out my window. 
and they went straight to Office Max, the dollar store, and every store over here that I go to. I have nowhere to go now. I have no way to get there because the buses aren't running. These people did this for no reason. It's not gonna bring George back here. George is in a better place than we are. And last night, I'm gonna be honest, I wish I was where George was because this is ridiculous. These people are tearing up our livelihood. This is the only place I could go to shop. And now I don't have anywhere to go. There is more to that clip, which uh, you can go down in the description to watch the full thing if you want, but I truly don't feel like I need to give that much more in terms of why conservatives just should not worry about him. As long as common sense is the majority of America, then this doofus is going to amount to nothing, because he's nothing but a blot on liberalism's name, which, uh, go figure, is the same for Kamala Harris. And y'all already know where I stand on this. Anyone who votes liberal is a stupid person. Point blank, period. Full stop. They cause nothing but problems for the country, like higher taxes, higher homelessness, higher substance usage, higher amounts of protests that just cause destruction, and as we all know, they don't actually care about those who they pretend to care for. They just care about filling their own pockets with more money. And if that is catering to people who are struggling, then they'll do it. But here is the very simple solution to being stupid. Just don't. And vote conservative. It is just common sense and actually requires very little effort in doing so. And at least by you doing that, then you'll be moving the country towards making America great again. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.